Hello, my name is Ben Bigelow, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for the cybersecurity tool Wireshark. Um, Wireshark is an open source program used to capture packets and analyze networks. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is download Wireshark. So we're going to go to wireshark.org. Once we reach the home page, just simply click on this Wireshark download button. Um, I'm doing this tutorial on a Mac, so it's automatically recommending OS X 10.5, but it also works for Windows and Linux and um, a bunch of other platforms. So I'm going to just click on the OS X one and hit keep to start the download. Uh, once it has finished downloading, just click on open wait for this to go then this window should pop up and then just click or double click on the package button and this will bring you to the installer so now we're just going to go through the install process hit continue uh, read all the software license agreements if you really want to then hit continue say that you agree to the license agreements um, you can change the install location. Uh, I guess click your hard drive and hit continue. And then you'll hit install. Um, I've already installed this on my computer, so I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just going to exit out of this. And then we're going to go to Wireshark. So for you, you'll have to go into your applications. And then it'll probably be all the way at the bottom. And it'll be right here. And you'll click on Wireshark. Now that we are in Wireshark, we can start to capture some packets. So the first thing we need to do is go over here where it says list available capture interfaces. Um, you have a few options here, but the one that we want to pick right here is my actual Ethernet adapter. You can see the packet streaming across. You hit start. And right away, these are all the packets that are going across my network right now. Um, they are color coded to help show you different information, but um, you can go in and set the um, the colors to any custom settings that you would like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this capture by hitting this right here. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to analyze cookies using Wireshark. So what I need to do first is set a cookie. So I'm going to go, this is a custom website and it's used to test programs like Wireshark. So the first thing I need to do is clear any cookies that I already have set. And then I need to go back to Wireshark and I'm going to start a new scan. I'm going to pick my Ethernet adapter again, hit start. And uh, Wireshark allows you to save all of your captured packets, and you can archive them if you wish. But I'm going to hit continue without saving. So now I've started a new scan of my network. I'm going to go back to my browser, and I'm going to set a cookie. I'm just going to call it uh, Ben's Big Cookie, and hit set. So now, see, current value for test cookie is Ben's Big Cookie. So now we go to back into Wireshark, and I'm going to stop the scan. I should have all the information that I need already. Um, what Wireshark allows you to do is you can filter for different protocols. So you can do this either by typing it in over here. So I'm looking for HTTP, so I can just type it in like this. Um, as you can see, when it's pink, it means it's an invalid input and also gives you all the valid inputs for that letter and then when it's green it becomes valid you can also do this by going to expressions and a window should pop up and then they have a list of all the expressions in alphabetical order and you can just go down to H and find HTTP alright so now I'm going to hit enter 
and it has filtered all the HTTP out of the scan. Um, since we're dealing with cookies, I'm looking for the post. So here's a get, get, and right here we have a post. So you click on this, and then this middle window here will change and will show you information about this packet. Um, you get the frames. Um, I'm on Ethernet 2. Uh, here's the HTTP. It shows you um, this is the host name. And what I'm looking for, I need to go in here and hit follow TCP stream. This is going to turn this information down here into a format that we can read. And then right in here, it says set cookie, and then test cookie equals Ben's big cookie. So right there you can see in this packet where that cookie was set. If you go back out, um, the browser has to echo the cookie back. So you go to this one where it says found. You get more different information on this packet. Go to follow C TCP and then right here it says set cookie test cookie equals Ben's big cookie. So this is a way you can analyze packets and see when they're set and when they're mirrored back. You can also use this technique to um, get form data from a website. Uh, data that's been entered into the website using a form such as usernames or passwords. So first we need a form, so I'm going to go back to my browser. And this page right here is another test website used to test Wireshark. And it's just a login page with a username and password. So first I'm going to go back to Wireshark, I'm going to start a new scan on the same adapter. Start, uh, continue without saving, the blank scan, uh, I'm going to clear out that filter real quick. So go back here and it says that the ID is guest and the password is guest123. So I'm just going to log in, 123. Now I've logged in and it says, Welcome back, Mr. Smith. Your account balance is 265.23. So I'm going to back to Wireshark. I'm going to stop the scan. And just like last time, I'm going to filter out for HTTP. And I'm going to look for this post again. Um, I didn't mention this before, but you have to right click on this to get the follow TCP stream or you can go up here to analyze and it's right here too so you click on that and if you look right in here it says UID or user ID equals guest and PWD password equals guest123 um, the password would usually be encrypted in some way like hashed and then if somebody was using it for malicious purposes they would use like a hash table or some kind of program to decrypt the password so that's how you can get form data out of a website using Wireshark and if you scroll down a little bit in here um, we start getting into some of the HTML for the website you actually see here where, where it says um, welcome back Welcome back, Mr. Smith. Your account balance is 265.23. So since it's just printed there in plain text, we can see it very easily. Um, just a couple other things that are useful about Wireshark. Over here, you can see all of the um, IP addresses. If I clear out this filter, you can see all the different sources. Um, one thing that you can do is you can filter for your specific or for a specific IP address. So if I wanted to filter out everything except for my IP address, I can just go IP and it fills it in for me right here, source, and equals equals. And then in order to figure out mine, um, I'm just gonna go in to terminal new window and if you go to if um, config 
then these are um, the different ports and then here is the Ethernet adapter that I'm on which is the same if you go in here the EN1 so if you go in here and you look right here this is my IP address so it's 192.168.12 one nine two one six eight one two see now it's green so that means that it's a valid IP for this network and then now you can see the source it's only from mine so now I don't have any um, extra outside traffic I can just look at what's going to and coming from my computer um, Wireshark has many other capabilities that I haven't gone into, but this is all that I'm going to cover for my tutorial, so thank you.